Hi, Yarn of These. How are you today? Ah, George has gone to his Dragon Boat practice, so I figured today is a good day to talk shop. Um, <laughs> it's good he's not here. It's going to be quiet, so, unless the dog starts. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> so, I haven't been on for a little while. Um, I just, you know, I got this thing where if I haven't finished if I don't have any FOs and I have like I haven't finished anything, then I really don't have anything to talk about. But I do have some whips and I have some new jewelry that I wanted to show you guys. I don't know if you guys are interested in it, but I'm going to show it to you just in case you are. Uh, I've kind of put that on hold showing you guys because I had some exciting stuff happen. So... We'll get into all that. Okay. Um, I think I told you guys on one of my last videos that I have a tutorial that I'm in the process of doing with Momenti. Still have not got my Hirschner's order. I tell ya, I don't know what's going on. Um... I called Hirschner's and she says, oh, it's in New York. But yet on my computer, it says that it's here. So I'm like, what is happening? Like, just give me my yarn. <laughs> like, seriously? So I'm still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. So I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm trying to get it done, but I can't can't do anything until that comes um I'll, some of you probably don't even know what i'm talking about i'm trying to do a tutorial on a summer cardi vest that's what it's called i guess um but yeah so i digress um so i had to figure out something else to do Right. Well, I am doing my uh, movie marquee challenge. I did get the panels, the two panels finished that I'm, I was stressing over. I got the two panels finished. Yay. But that will be on my other video. Uh, what else? Um, so remember I was telling you about the yarn that I got? at the dollar dollar plus store it's the needle crafter oh excuse me oh, oh excuse me hmm <laughs> i guess i didn't sleep I, I had to get up really early this morning i'll tell you about that in a minute uh the needle crafter yarn that i got at the dollar plus this yarn and i was so excited i went out and i bought a whole bunch of it and everything I started to work with it and the second that I started working with it I realized it's got a little bit of plasticky feel to it. Not a lot but just enough that I know to look at the label and sure enough I looked at the label and it says do not dry. So I don't know what that other label is but yeah it says do not dry so that tells me right away that this has got quite a bit of plastic in it it's acrylic right but usually with acrylic like you can feel an acrylic any kind of acrylic and you know you can put it in the dryer this i knew right away as soon as i started working with it i was like oh no so this is not going to be a wearable. This is not going to be a blanket. Um, I wanted to make something that you wouldn't normally be putting in the wash. And if you did, well, you maybe wouldn't put it in the dryer. So, if I can do this without uh, pulling everything apart. I started making a purse. I think it looks pretty. Um, the pattern that I'm the I'm just making this up as I go along, um, but I did the first few 
rows I did was single crochet, then I did a row of double crochet, and now I'm doing a cluster stitch around for four rounds, then I'm going to go back to a double crochet round, then I'm going to go back to single crochet, and hopefully it's not going to be quite so wide. It'll kind of bring it in a little bit, and then I can go and repeat uh, these rows as I go on. So this is the color I started with. This is the color I'm thinking of going with next. And hopefully those are the two colors that I'll use. I do have other colors, but I don't think I'm going to use those. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with these two colors together because I thought they kind of went nice. I don't know. We'll see when it comes, when it develops. A little bit better but I am using my new furls hook my 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 unicorn hook I'm using that this yarn is not particularly fond of this hook or the other way around um, so I am struggling with it a little bit but I'm gonna get through it because I'm not putting this hook away <laughs> that's not gonna happen so yeah that's what I'm working on. Um, well, <laughs> we haven't heard that in so long. Welcome to the summer. <laughs> that, for those of you that don't know, is a ferry. Uh, we live right by the ferry terminal in Nanaimo, B.C., and uh, when I first started my channel, I was doing my videos outside. And that happened more times than not. <laughs> so, so we've got all the windows and doors and everything all open. So yeah, you can kind of hear it now. So that's kind of funny. Um, but anyways, uh, so there's just a couple of things I'm working on. I'm trying really hard not to get a bunch of whips going. <sighs> Because I don't like having a bunch of whips. Do I have another one? I don't think I do. I'm not sure. Um, I have started. Oh, hang on one second. I have um, started, I think I said this in another video, started making my scooties again for this winter for the craft fairs. If you don't know what a scoodie is, it's in my Etsy page. I've got the pattern there. Uh, it's a hooded cowl. So this is one of the ones that I made. And it's got the fur around it. Isn't that different? So um, I started making these. And there's that one there. I think that's yeah oops crap everything's falling down here's another one that I made so uh, yeah so I'm starting to get into that again I haven't been haven't made them in in a while because I just it got to the point where I was like oh I can't make another scooty um, I've changed it a little bit uh, I started doing like every second row I did a front uh, back loop um, row and I also started putting I, I did the te the ties I did them with my Lucette fork and I started putting wood baubles on baubles <laughs> beads <laughs> on the ends uh, of my Scooty. So I'm thinking with that little bit of a change to them, maybe I'll get excited about making them again. It just, it got to the point where I had to make so many because they sold so fast um, that I was just getting burned out. And George was like, come on, you got to make more. And I was just like, nope, I don't want to. <laughs> so I, I stomped my little feet, well, my big feet. And, um, I just, I said enough's enough. I can't, I got to take a break. So yeah, so this, this, um, this year 
I'm going to have a lot more of them. So George is very happy. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, so, oh, I'm drinking some tea. My cup. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Oh, that's very hot. I am doing the twinnings. I'm doing a winter spice. And I have another tea bag. It's jasmine. So I put the two together. And uh, making my own mix. <laughs> okay, put this over here. Put my tea over here. I had a kerfuffle this morning. Okay, so I got invited. And I, I'm so sorry, you guys. I got invited to do an interview kind of thing with... Uh, Robin from um, roving, roving, hmm, roving with Rob, Robin, ro, hmm. oh my God, roving with, no, sorry about that. I had to take a second to get my mouth in check. <laughs> wow. Long story. My, hmm my mouth and my brain are not working together properly. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, I can't seem to get my brain and my mouth to work at the same time. <laughs> Roving with, no, roaming with Rover. Holy Hannah. <sighs> I don't know why it's so hard for me to get that out of my mouth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I'll leave that link down below. I am so sorry that I did not post a video prior to tell you guys that I was going to be doing this uh, and giving you the link for the StreamYard um, live. I, I totally botched it, you guys. I'm so sorry. I can't even, I, I, there's no excuse. I should have been able to tell you guys about it. And I just, yeah, it wasn't until, um, she just sent me the message saying, here's the link and all of that, that I went, Oh, uh Oh, and yeah, I just, I took, but you can watch the replay and it's down below. <laughs> oh my goodness. Help me. Like, I, I just, I can't say words. Can't say words. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. It went really well. I had a lot of fun. Um, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but, um, she she kept the conversation going and then I just kind of went with her and I, it was awesome it was awesome we had a lot of fun it was a two hour live uh we weren't expecting to be on that long but we just got doo -doo 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 -doo. and then after we got off the live we talked for another hour it was like <laughs> we just you know just couldn't stop it was you know one of those things so it it was a blast so go check that out. <laughs> okay. So I, I'm starting to get really tired. I, I got up early this morning. I was in a kerfuffle this morning because George didn't wake me up. I had to be on, on the live for quarter to eight and he didn't wake me up. So here I am jumping in the shower, trying to do my hair, throw on a little bit of makeup, get my computer set up and get a cup of coffee, sit down, and I had 15 minutes to do that. So then I get on there with her and she says, um, you know, I'll, I'll ask you this, that, and the other. And it's like, and maybe something like what you're working on and all that. And I went, oh, I don't have anything here to show you. So I went to get up to go get something and bring it back. And I hit my coffee and coffee went everywhere. And so I was just, yeah. And then you have to get on and, hi, <laughs> how are you? 
so good to be here. Meanwhile, I'm drenched from the from my knees down in coffee. <laughs> so yeah, it, it kind of went like that. <laughs> but it was okay. It was fun. Oh, what can you do, right? All right. So, um, I when I started making jewelry. Uh, and I posted it and I was showing some of the stuff I was making. Uh, I got a lot of comments on it and I had some sales and I thought, well, what should I do? Should I put it on my Etsy, not put it on my Etsy? So I started putting some stuff on my Etsy. Uh, but then I had gotten a message from Jeanette at Miss Hootie Hootin's Crafts. And she had said, hey, I may have an opportunity for you. So, um, I talked to her a little bit more and now my stuff is my, my jewelry and stuff and probably my wearables later on towards the fall are going to be in a storefront, um, down in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. I think so. <laughs> EA, Pennsylvania. <laughs> so what I've been doing is stockpiling uh, a bunch of jewelry um, so that I can ship it down there. And so she, the, the lady at the shop, said that she's going to hold off for the next, uh, for this the end of July, August, and then more stuff in September. So I says, okay, well, I have a whole bunch of stock. So I just sent her off what she wanted for now. And I have a whole bunch of stock left over. So I'm going to show it to you guys and um, see if anybody would like to get some. I got quite a bit here, guys. So <clears throat> um, it's all earrings for now. Uh, I'm getting into doing um, necklaces and bracelets. I just I just made 10 bracelets and she took them all. So I don't even have those to show you. I can put a, I can post a picture up here of what they looked like, looked like. I'm gonna be making more though. And if you're interested in having one like let me know and I can make you one. Anyways, Okay, so here is, <laughs> I did this in honor of Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hootman. Um, aren't they adorable? So they're bling owls. Uh, I had these, yeah, these ones were just in gold. Um, like a gold, um, coloring and then I had these ones I had in silver and gold but I sent them to Jeanette and her daughter and this is the only pair I have left of these ones aren't they cute I thought they were adorable still have some bird's nest earrings Remember these kind of bird's nest earrings? I have a few of those still. Uh, here is another style of owl with the feather. Okay, thought those were really cute. I have um, a couple pairs of cluster earrings. I have this one and I think I have a pair, a red pair. So there's those clusters. Okay. Um, I have these. I think I showed, I don't know if I showed these to you or not. I think I did. But the tree of life. Okay. Now, I've got two kinds. There's this one that's kind of got purple and green in them. 
And then I have these ones that are straight purple. So you can see the difference in the two. Oops. Okay. I also have some of these in various colors. These are the star um, earrings. That's in a, kind of a brushed, brushed colored bead. Uh, I have them in various colors. I have like a oh, purple kind of colors. Okay, I think I showed these to you um, before, but I still have some. They're kind of like um, like a gumball. They they're little hearts inside. But the hearts move around like a, um, what are they called? Snow globey kind of thing. There's no fluid in them, but uh, they kind of, when you shake them, they move around. But they're like little hearts. They remind me of candy. Kind of cute. And then I think I showed all of these to you, but um, I'll show them again. I have three or four colors, and these have the dried flowers in them. I'll post a picture here again, but I have these in, yeah, blue, an orangey red, the purple. Um, I think it had a yellow. Um, oops. Oh, sorry, I dropped one. Uh, I got pink. Yeah, I've got quite a few colors of those. Uh, if you happen to have watched my tutorial that I did with Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hoot Miss Crafts, for my 12 project collab. Um, I showed you how to make a project keeper for knitting. Well, this, I actually did that for a pair of earrings. So, there's that pair. And then I have like a whole bunch of other different colors. I have like a blue pair and a purple pair. Oops. Purple pair there. Um, and a green, a greeny kind of pair. So yeah, so I've got those that I designed. And then I think I showed you these. They were um, um, dried flowers in resin. Remember, they look like the eyeballs. <laughs> and I have these in a bunch of different colors. I've got purple, white, blue, pink. Um, I think I have yellow, uh, I might have orange, um, yeah, so I've got those in a bunch of colors. And then I have two styles of angels. I have, oh, wait, maybe not. No, nope, I've just got one style of angel right now. Um, here we go. There's those. And these are glass beads. Right. There's those. And I've got those in 
blue, two different blues. Um, got them in this color blue. And, whoops. Oops, my angel came off the hook. Thing. Hang on. Oops, we have this. Come on. Undo. There we go. Got this green, a darker green. And I have a red. And I have pink. And I have oops, come on, I have an orange. So yeah, that's what I've got. I wish I had one of the bracelets to show you. Um, it's like a one size fits most. Uh, it's made from memory wire. So, but. Um, so I was, that's what I've been doing. I've just been working up a storm with my jewelry to get it all ready. Oh, excuse me. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I've been working on. Uh, my daughter went for her first real doctor's appointment to get her physical done. For those of you that don't know. My youngest daughter, Tia, is having a baby, and it's my first grandchild. So she's due on December 28th, and she had, yeah, she had her ultrasound done. She got to see the baby twice now, um, and then in the last um, visit, she got to hear the heartbeat. And then she promptly ran out and bought a monitor of her own where you can actually hear your baby's heartbeat whenever you want. So she sent me some video clips of the baby's heartbeat and I cried, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So now she can just listen to her baby whenever she wants. Anytime she has a fear uh, that something might be wrong, she can go and she can do her own little ultrasound and or sonogram son, no what do you call it i guess it's it's almost like an ultrasound but it, it's for hearing and um yeah and she can hear the heartbeat anytime she wants so that's pretty cool uh she is going to do the gender reveal i think it's the next appointment that she has uh they're going to find out what the gender is well she's not going to find out but they're going to get the gender put in an envelope and then they're going to give that envelope to a friend of theirs so that they can get ready for the gender reveal. <sighs> so we're thinking maybe um, the end of August. Maybe. Uh, I, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> it's going to be, the gender reveal is going to be really cool. Uh, so, Yeah. I'm, I'm totally pumped about that. I am so going and uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, health update. Um, I am still on metformin. Uh, I'm still not having any side effects, which is good. Um, but I really don't want to be on it. <laughs> I'm t I've missed a day here and there of taking my pills because I've totally forgotten. Um, I am starting to take a B12 vitamin to go with it because my doctor never told me that I'm supposed to be on B12 while I'm on metformin. I had to find that out by watching Dr. Barry on YouTube. So, yay. <laughs> um, George and I, we tried to start the carnivore. We're starting the car. Well, okay. George is kind of doing the carnivore way of eating. I'm kind of doing the ketovore 
So it's car keto and carnivore kind of together, more carnivore than keto. Um, but I'm finding I'm getting derailed a little bit here and there. Um, oh, let's put you back over here. <laughs> um, so that's okay. That's okay. I'm not going to pressure myself too much. I'm not eating like sugar and sweets and all that kind of stuff. I've kind of, I bought a watermelon and I'm not supposed to have fruit. And I just, I'm having a real hard time with that. So I'm just going to go, you know what? It's summertime. If I want to have a little bit of fruit, I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm not eating junk food. I'm not eating chips and pop and um, cookies and cake and pie. And I'm not eating any of that. I'm not eating bread. Uh, I'm not eating rice. I'm not eating potatoes. So I'm pretty much on the right track. Um, I'm just kind of on the track and then going boop and then coming back on the track. Go, boop. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. The, I actually, I started my, when I found out I was, um, type two diabetic, uh, I was 202 pounds. Then I went on Ozempic. I went down to 196 and then I went off Ozempic and on to Met. It's the generic form of metformin, so I don't get the side effects that a lot of people do, like the diarrhea and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you're on metformin and you're getting those side effects, talk to your doctor about the generic form because there's, there isn't many side effects with that. Um, and you don't get the diarrhea and the constipation or whatever. So, um, but I am now down to 192. So I'm doing something right. <laughs> uh, I tried to, I was trying to do Seta's 10,000 steps a day. I'm failing miserably. Um, the closest I got, I, I, I can get like, uh, let's see if I'm working. I can get like two or 3,000 steps. Um, I I did get, if I'm really good, then I'm getting 5,000 steps. But when George was doing his uh, dragon boat races, the one day on the Sunday that that happened, like two Sundays ago, I did 8,000 steps. Holy cow. I, my feet were killing me. I was exhausted. I I didn't fare too well that day. My feet, ever since my foot surgery, well, actually before my foot surgery, who am I kidding? Um, my feet have just not been the same. And so I can't do long walks. Now, when I was talking about that in my other video, I got a surprise email from Ryan, from Yarn Hag Ryan. Now, the new channels won't know who she is because she went off the air. Like she went off YouTube uh, when COVID happened. And we miss her terribly. But I was shocked when she sent me this lo beautifully long email. Uh, and she was telling me about this pair of shoes that she got and she said it's gonna change your life and I thought eh, we'll see okay I'll try them out they're expensive but um, there was a there is a store here that carries the flip-flop and the um, it's like the slide you slide your foot into them and it's got the band over the toes I can't wear things in between my toes it drives me crazy so I bought these shoes. Oh, she was not kidding. What are they called? O Usa? Usa? O-O-S-A, I think it is. I'll put the link down below. 
Um, these shoes are amazing. The only problem with them is I, my toes curl up because I'm trying to stay in them. Um, my feet are not used to being in that kind of a shoe. So I'm getting better with that, but they are not meant for long walks, but there is an actual shoe type. So I wanted to try these ones out to see how I like them, if I like them, how my body felt. Uh, and mm, um, the shoes are really expensive. But I've also, I've bought in SAS shoes, S-A-S, S-A-S. And those things cost me over $200. And I can't wear them anymore because the toes on the toe the toe is shaped so it's cur curved at the toe and I can't have that I have to have my toes be able to be um, breathe and be straight out and not curved in so um and I had a pair of sandals before from <laughs> can't for the life of me remember what they're called but anyways, they're almost $300. I wore those things out. I still have them. I'm thinking about taking them to a shoe place to get the Velcro replaced on them because the Velcro is the only thing that's wrong with them. Um, they just don't stick anymore. So, but they are amazing shoes and they are sandals, like, like full on sandals. Um, but they're almost like a cork, like a, a light cork and oh they're great I'm I miss those shoes but these USA or whatever shoes are really nice too so now that I've been wearing these I'm gonna invest in getting the actual shoe hang on let me get them and I'll show them to you okay so here they are they oh <laughs> I spelled it wrong. It's O O F O S. Oofs. Oofs. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, there, there it is. Okay. Uh, their shape is similar to uh, Skechers, but they're not as. When I first got my Skechers, I found them really hard because you were kind of going woo woo uh, and my back and everything didn't like that. These aren't like that, even though they're shaped very similar. Um, they, and they've got, sorry, they're kind of dirty, but um, they've got a little bit of grip in them, but they're a rubber. They're like a, they're like a memory foam, but they're like a rubber, like memory foam kind of. You know what I mean? Anyways, but when my foot's in here, my toes are kind of gripping like this. <laughs> so, because I'm not used to that at all. But I'm definitely going to invest in getting a pair of the actual shoes because these are just so nice. It just, it lets my feet breathe. And uh, that's what I need. So, so thank you, Ryan. I love you. Thank you for thinking of me and my health. Uh, they really helped. And believe me, like when I was at the festival, I hate going to that festival because there is so much walking. These saved my bacon. They really did. Because uh, I would not have been able to get through that without these shoes. Uh, 8,000 steps, guys. Set is doing 10,000 or more a day. That woman is a dynamo. Holy man. And she's dropped a bunch of weight, like 30 or 40 pounds. Like, wow. Like, unbelievable. So good for you, Seta. I'm so proud of you. Um, I'm very jealous. <laughs> but I, I am down a little bit. So... I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, hopefully 
once I get right on to the carnivore, um, then I'll start dropping some more weight. Uh, yeah. If you're, if you're interested in, in learning about that, I'll leave Dr. Barry's, uh, link down below as well. Um, yeah, it's a totally different way of eating. Totally different. Like it gets rid of all the inflammation in your body. It's, he explains so many different things, not just carnivore, but he explains like inflammation markers in your body, diabetes, um, like you name it, like he's, he's a real doctor and he explains what different things do, what metformin does to your body, what, uh, Ozempic does to your body, what other medications do to your body. Like he's a wealth of information. So, um, yeah, go, go check him out. Cause, uh, yeah, I've got a book coming. It's not his book. It's another doctor's book. Like they've talked on Q and A's and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to get this book and, and really dive, in, dive into this book and what is happening with my body. Um, because this type 2 diabetes was a little bit of a surprise to me. And I really want to get it under control. I want to be here for my grandchild. And I want to be here for my kids. And I want to be here for George. And I can't do that if I'm six feet under. It, I, it's time for me to get my health in check and I should have done this long before I became diabetic but you know life got in the way I just I was just like oh you know it, that's not gonna happen to me and here I am so yeah so I'm gonna do whatever I can to get off the pills and lose the weight and get my health back. So if you're interested, uh, go check out the link. Um, I don't know if I have anything else to talk about. I know I do. I just can't think of anything for the life of me right now. Um, oh, uh, my one year anniversary or podiversary is coming. No, one year. No, 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 no. My three-year podiversary is coming up uh, at the end of the month, as well as Sandy Duda from Left is Right Crochet. Her her podiversary and mine are about two or three days apart, so um, we are scheming. We're scheming. So we're going to have a chat soon and we're going to hash things out and uh, then we'll let you know what we're planning. <laughs> so keep tuned for that. Keep an eye out on her channel. Um, she will announce it on one of her lives. She may even do a video. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> so, but yeah, so that's coming up. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I can think of anything else. I don't think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so thanks for joining me. And I will talk to you guys soon. I will be doing my next movie marquee video in a couple days. And yeah, I guess that's everything. <laughs> Um, oh, I will be participating in vlog vlogist vlogist this year uh, for the anniversary thing. So uh, I'm gonna have to start thinking about things to talk about, and uh, yeah, in between my maybe I'll take you to work, you know, and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So anyways, you guys stay cool out there. I'm hearing that the temperatures are really astronomical in some places. And uh, yeah, so stay cool, stay hydrated and stay safe. I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. You know I do. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.